So Mayano sent out the Mayano Caster C2 Neo for review. And if you've seen my review on the Fine Fine SC3, then um, that review applies pretty much to this one. Um, they're both around the same price. And I think overall, like I said in the Fine Fine video, I don't know who really this is for. This is not for streamers at all. Um, this is going to be more for people who are going to be sitting in Discord or something like that, um, or maybe doing a recording of some gameplay or maybe recording a video like this one and just using it for a microphone, having it in the shot or something and talking into it. And then in post or in their editing software, or maybe they're recording in OBS to have plugins to make the microphone sound good. Because the only thing that on this thing outside the, the gimmicks, the echo and all that stuff that it has is a noise reducer um th that's pretty much it all the other reverbs and stuff like that just like with the fine fine mixer and a lot of these budget mixers um they just have all those um gimmicks because they're easier to um reproduce or, or pretty much put into mixers or whatever like the laughing or the echoey of a, of a voice the auto tune and all that stuff all that stuff is easier to put in whereas when you step up in price you get something like the comica Adcaster C2 where it has the controls that streamers or anybody really needs to control the highs, the mids, the lows, um, aux volume and stuff like that, multiple different uh, inputs and everything. Um, this one can technically hook up three different microphones. You get all the cables and stuff that you need outside of the XLR cables. It has a battery life and everything. But like I said, you get so much um, capabilities as far as tuning on the actual physical device and not really have to lean too much on software. Now you would still probably need to use um, some tweaking and stuff in your editing software, or even when you're live streaming with OBS. But again, on a physical device, you get all the stuff. Whereas with the Neo, you don't really get any of that. The problem that kind of bugs me with it is that I recently covered the Mayano microphone. This is the PD200X. And it allows you to use software through USB Type-C um, to pretty much EQ the microphone. Like they have EQ curves, they have a, a limiter, a compressor and all that stuff to make this microphone sound really good for $80. The only thing I didn't really like about it is the overall build quality um, of the actual microphone itself. But Mayano has several microphones that are USB that can access that software and be able to use. Now, if this device could access that software as well, that would be good. But the problem that you will run into is that for one, it's an XLR only. Um, for two, even if you plug this into your PC, the problem comes from all the stuff that you can connect to this, whether it be through the aux or the Bluetooth uh, pairing that's possible on this device and everything. Whatever sound is being played through this, whether it be music, um, people chatting, whatever, if you were able to tweak the microphone in the actual software itself because it's XLR and not a USB microphone um, or a USB interface, the problem comes from all those other connections that you do would be interfered with, let's say you make your voice deeper or something, or you make a certain EQ, it's going to throw off the sound of other people who are talking or music or gameplay or whatever it is that you have going through this audio device into your PC. And if you went in there, it's not going to be able to detect, oh, you have a microphone plugged in. It's going to detect it as just the audio interface. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now what I think Mayano should do is keep the same price as something like this, but make it a USB compatible mic microphone audio mixer. And what I mean by that is since you have, you know, microphones that can use your software, allow this microphone to pass through this audio mixer and then plug into the computer. Let the computer see the audio mixer and just give me faders or wherever to control, you know, certain certain things like the fine fine one does here on this actual device, you know, have the, the volume knob and everything and the gain and all that stuff. That's fine. But allow if I make certain tweaks on this physical device, it changes in the software. And on top of that, allow me to have you no know, custom buttons like you have with a sound pad and then be like, oh, I made a reverb echoey voice. I can save that to, you know, button C and then the A button or wherever is my original sound of the microphone of presets or wherever to make my mic sound good. I save that to A. So when I, you know, turn off C and I click A, 
it turns back on those EQs. You see what I'm saying? So you would have all that because you don't need all these pitches and and and, and um, reverbs and stuff like that. Side chains is arguably because you can do uh, certain things like um, karaoke or singing along with a song or something like that or cutting words out of a song and everything. This allows you to do all that. Um, so this is a very interesting, I would say, concept as far as the step in the right direction to maybe the c3 neo you know what i'm saying and like i said make those uh improvements like i said for the next iteration because like i said for streamers people who are doing podcasts and stuff you're gonna want something like the adcaster c2 from comica or you're gonna want something that mayano offer also offers or whatever and maybe i can cover in the future so i can show you guys what i'm talking about it's a little bit cheaper than a comica version but it's the ame 2 a and that device has what I'm talking about as far as the high, the mids, the lows and stuff on it, as well as some other pitches and all that stuff or wherever that is going to be, I would say, more indicative of what a actual streamer is going to want slash use. Um, even people who are sitting there recording gameplay or something like that, they can get a lot more use out of it. Um, the only other thing, like I said, is this device kind of sits in that realm of it exists so obviously somebody out there could probably get a use out of it but what would sell more and be more towards what people want is being able to hook up one of Mayano's microphones into this audio mixer and let it be the middleman of their software so that way maybe they don't have to have the software on it saves to the actual device or something like that like I said through those preset buttons and being able to push and turn certain things on and having like volume control and all that stuff for the microphone itself and like i said just being an actual physical device so like a physical device for the software and the reason why i say that is because other companies like i said fine fine or wherever kind of talked about it being a pro version or wherever in the video it would be nice to have that uh software to do this stuff because mayano actually has software like i said most of the companies when i recover microphones or i cover certain things they're just physical devices. Even the Comica one does not have actual software. And like I said, Mayano has the really good software in my personal opinion, especially for this microphone. Again, the only knockback was the actual build quality of the shock mount, the whites not matching or wherever all colors, and then how easily it was to take off the wind muff. Other than that, this microphone is still really good i think in my personal opinion around that price point you would expect a little bit better build quality on the, like the shock mount at least but the software allow you to be able to do stuff i still would recommend this microphone for for a lot of streamers where because for one it's a, a dynamic microphone which most i would say 90 percent of people need and then on top of that like i said having those limiters those capacitors those eqs uh curves or wherever in the software and on top of that has rgb so you can select the different rgb stuff um it's just overall that would be really good to see in a physical device now people would say well how would i control the audio from other devices well i use something that's called a pc panel pro you can check it out there's youtube videos on it i'll leave it linked in the description um that can control you know your your um discord and and volume and your music volume and all the other volumes or whatever through sliders and knobs and stuff it has but as far as like physically changing stuff or wherever this one just it's kind of lacking because this one can control through the through the actual uh faders and stuff like that it can control the line in the line out and everything your headphone volume your mic volume and stuff and obviously with the mayano one you only get you know your headphone slider and your microphone slider and the gain knob and aux knob or wherever and that's pretty much it and in order to you know hear anything or be it uh, pushed out or wherever you have to adjust the actual main volume so you're turning everything up or wherever you're going to want to turn up your headphones and stuff like that but you still have to twist the knob so it's like what's the point of having these pushed up all the way if the output volume wherever i still have to turn this up to actually control the overall master volume of it or wherever to hear anything because if i have this turned all the way down and i have these up even my headphones I can't hear anything so it's like another fader needs to be there or something like that in my personal opinion 
And like I said, it, do, it does have the Phantom uh, power wherever the 48 volts if you need it. It has the Bluetooth, the side chain, the reverbs, the direct monitoring, the noise reducer. Um, in my personal opinion, the only two things that would actually be useful is the noise reducer and the direct monitoring. The sound pad is, is arguable depending on, you know, if that's the kind of thing you do, but most people have a stream deck. I that's that's what I use even a smaller one over here on this uh I would say YouTube studio desk I have a smaller one and then I have a 32 bit uh button one or whatever on my actual stream uh, desk most people have some version or a hotkey or something like that that would play sounds so I feel like these even on the fine fine and even on the comica are just wasted sound pads that could be used like I said for another iteration of the neo having being able to plug this into your computer your, the so, their software recognizing it and saving certain voice presets or wherever to those buttons i think those would be better than what we're receiving here other than the, the noise reducer and the direct monitoring um if you're looking for a, a preset I, I would say video that goes through all the features and stuff like that i will leave a link down in the description to the mayano youtube page where cozy christopher who's another tech youtuber did a walkthrough of it and showed all the capabilities of the actual mayano mixer so you could see again if it's still something that you want but again I would lean towards, even though it's more expensive, like I said, the Comico one is $180 roughly. The Miano uh, version of something that's similar to this, the AME2A, it's roughly around, I think with the microphone that comes bundled with it, it's roughly around $160, $70. So it's a little bit cheaper, not that obviously that much, but just a little bit cheaper. But that one actually comes with the microphone and the cable and stuff that you need to hook up to. So lastly, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know uh, when Mayano sent out this device for a review, they had to send out separately their own XLR cable. And the problem with that is that if you're buying an audio device, and I've said this with the Comica one and the Fine Fine one, if you're buying an audio device that's supposed to have an XLR input, come with everything in a box. Stop doing this whole separate, oh, you gotta buy a cable wherever separately. Um, that's It's, it's kind of pointless because that's just nickeling and diming your customers. Um, but fortunately enough, when they sent this out or wherever, it's a really nice XLR cable in my personal opinion. I have obviously a ton here and this one I would say is nice. Um, I'll put the price on screen for the one they're selling, but it is a nice one. It's obviously pretty long, I would say, so it will get the job done as far as cable managing and everything. But then we get into the actual other problem. Unboxing the device, um, you're probably seeing it in the video. You only get two. You get a short XLR cable our aux cable and you get a short usb type c cable these cables are not long enough to be able to route from the audio mixer into your pc and like i said this thing has a seven hour battery life and it has two different ports why is it only coming with one type c cable when i need to plug one into power it and another one into my pc um or just charge it or wherever and if i want to continuously use it i'm gonna have to pick and choose which one or i'm gonna have to have another one anyways and the problem is is that you're gonna have to get a two other usb type c cables because this is not going to be long enough um even if you had it in the middle of your desk and try to run into your pc you're not going to be able to cable manage it or make your desk look nice because it's just too short and on top of that i have a white one why why is the cable not white why is the cable not white i have a white mixer it doesn't make any sense the same thing happened with the fine fine one it came with a black cable i, I don't know but the fine fine came with like a 12 or 16 foot or whatever cable and it's like they knew that you were going to need to plug this you know somewhere on your desk on the left or the right wherever you're going to put it and you were going to run it to your pc and you're going to cable management um which is really weird because when mayano sent out their microphone the cable that came with it for the usb type c it was like a 12 foot or 16 foot wherever usb type c cable it was super long so it was easy to cable manage and stuff how you do that for the microphone but you don't do it for the audio mixer it's just weird to me and on top of that like i said you're gonna have to get two of them because you're gonna want to have this charged and more often than not the battery life on these two things or wherever it's just a gimmick um again a very very small portion of the audience is going to who are going to buy these types of mixers are going to use it in a place where they're not going to have 
some capability of you know plugging it up to some kind of device or something like that to give it power um, whether that be a power bank or straight to the wall or a pc or something like that so it's kind of weird most people would ask why they separate the two ports on these two and i think that's mostly because of audio interference or something like that with charging and giving it power and using the data or whatever to your pc laptop whatever so i don't have a problem with them doing that some people might but i i just don't have a problem with that it's just come with everything that the device needs to function and come with the, the right cable length for something like this that's appropriate because then again people have to go out and buy more or wherever and that's the problem when you get into these budget more budget options even with the comica some of the cables were short but it pretty much came with all the cables that you needed other than the xlr cable where at, and you can get some microphones that come that are xlr that come with the xlr cable i know there's out there i own one that came with the xlr cable so i know it's possible but again for a budget item or wherever like just come with everything in the box that i need in order to get your product up and running at least again i know this is under a hundred dollars so you know it's a budget items you expect to have some um limitations or some you know obvious setbacks or wherever pretty much what's offered but you got to include stuff in the box in order to get it to work period I, I think that would i think that's bare minimum or bare bones expected to happen so again overall i do think that these audio mixers whether the be define fine one or the mayana one do have a place um in the actual content creation it's just like i said with the fine fine one the mayano c2 neo is going to be for people who are like I said, doing voiceover work or recording or something like that. And, um, you know, editing their actual vocals and through plugins in OBS while they're recording or live streaming or something like that, or they're, um, re recording or editing, um, you know, and then they're throwing it into actual editing software and using VSTs or plugins or whatever to adjust the audio from there. Um, and in, th in that instance, yes, both of these mixers, especially the Mayano one or wherever, it's going to work really well. It has all that stuff or wherever. So if you're gaming and you're not streaming and you're recording with like a buddy or something like that, you want to play like a funny sound or, you know, use one of the, the reverbs or settings or wherever the presets and stuff like that. It's really cool but it's just like they threw a lot of bare bone features into it and then they're telling you like it's for podcasting or streaming podcasts you need at least two people to be i would say literally in my personal opinion a podcast um and it only has one input whereas the bigger brother to this again the ame uh, 2a is going to have what podcasters are going to want and streamers are going to want that studio production level uh a, I would say entry level equipment whereas this like i said it, it's not for streamers man it, it's honestly not again voiceover work or something like that recording straight into your editing program using this device um or you're again you're playing with one other buddy maybe you're doing some kind of let's play or something like that or you know talking wherever in discord or something it's going to allow you to do that but again even when you're doing that you don't have those vocal presets those EQ curves and stuff like that's available in the software. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, and today Miano did send out the Miano Caster C2 Neo for a review, but any thoughts and opinions are my own. Um, no money switch hands or anything like that. I'm always brutally honest when it comes to doing product reviews, regardless if a company send out a product or not, because you as the consumer need to be able to make an informed decision on where your money is going. So at the end of the day, if you're gonna go with something Miano, you might as well just go with one of their microphones and use their software because their software is a hundred times better than something like this. I, I don't know. Again, there's going to be people in the comment section saying they get the use out of the fine, fine one. I got that in that video. And there's going to be people saying that they would get the use cases from there out of that. I'm not saying that customer base is not there. I'm just saying that there's, there would be better engineering spent on something, uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video that allows you to use the software on a physical device from them. Cause again, that software is really, really good. They knocked out of the park with that. And I don't understand why they're not leaning more into that because that's like their golden goose, their egg or whatever I would say. So Mayano, take, take my word on it. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? That you can, you can take that idea and run with it. I'm trying to tell you, but again, if you are interested in something like I mentioned with the Comica stuff, there'll be a review down in the description, but if Mayano wants to send out again, the AME 2A 
to compare it to this and see my thoughts and opinions on it, I'll be happy to do that because I think that one might be actually slightly better than this one and it's like 10 to $20 cheaper. So, you know, take it for what you will. Again, my name is Ben Squid at Joe. <sighs> Another company hates me now, I guarantee it. <laughs> but I just gotta be honest with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all take care, have a squid day. God bless you and yours and uh, deuces everybody. Much love.